Have you ever wondered why some crypto are far more valuable than others? For example, even though Ethereum here is traded as much as Bitcoin, but one Bitcoin it's worth 55,000, whereas one Ethereum is just worth 2,900. These coins has been and has seen at least two cycles each. These could only be answered by what we call tokenomics. Another good example of these is Dogecoin versus Audi. This is under the meme coin section of Binance. If you look at most of the meme coins here, they are either 0, 0.0 something value or just 1.6. Why is with or dog with hat 1.6 dollars whereas dogecoin that has the highest traded volume is just 0.1 dollar these could be traced back to what we call tokenomics hi investor welcome back today we'll be looking at beyond price why crypto tokenomics matters when we talk about crypto tokenomics we are trying to refer to the overall economic system and mechanism that governs the creation, distribution, usage, and how crypto derives their value. The very first metrics we'll be looking at under the tokenomics is what we call the crypto market cap. So what exactly is this crypto market cap? Crypto market capitalization or market cap, in short, is the measure of the total value of a specific cryptocurrency. It gives you an idea of how big and variable a crypto is. Usually, a crypto market cap, for example, Bitcoin market cap, is the current price of that token multiplied by the circulating supply. Which means if the current price of a crypto dumps, the market price would also go down. Let me explain this in a simpler term using candy. Let's say you have a jar that has 1000 candies and each candy is worth $2. To find the candy's market cap or capitalization, how much you will realize when you have sold this candy or the current market value of that candy, you have to multiply your 1000 candies by each price of the candy which is two dollars this will give you a 2000 market capitalization or candies capitalization so using bitcoin for example the current market capitalization of bitcoin stands at one trillion and this change we are seeing here which is 4.227 percent means that the market cap has dropped by 4.27% in the previous 24 hours. Now, remember when I told you that though Dogecoin and Audi are all under the meme coin on the Binance section, or they are meme coins, but even though Doge has been existing way, way back as of 2017, it's not as valuable as Audi that just got listed last year being 2023 why is one audi is equivalent to 28 dollars but one dogecoin is just 0.1 whereas if you rank the coins based on their market capitalization one dogecoin is ranked number nine on all the cryptos in the whole world meaning it has a higher market capitalization than when you scroll down you will see that audi is at just 92 but the price of one Audi is bigger than the price of one Dogecoin. The reason for this is what we call maximum supply. Now, what is the maximum supply we are talking about? The maximum supply here stands for the maximum amount of a token that would ever exist. For example, in our jar of candy, we had 1,000 candies. That means we could only have 1,000 candies ever, if that is what we decide. Here, the maximum supply of this Audi is 21 million actually, meaning this coin can never go above 21 million in supply, even in the next 100 years, in the next 300 years, or in the next 500 years. Because of this limitation and scarcity, 
we have seen this coin rose all the way to 91 dollars before dumping but dutch coin that has been existing before him five to six years ago could only amaze 0.7 as it's all-time high which happened 2021 three years ago compared to 2024 we are even in this 2024 it has not even gone up to 0.3 the reason is maximum supply here dogecoin has what we call the unlimited maximum supply this means that if for example in the next 10 years when you come back to the circulating supply here the miners and the founders of this token must have minted more coins in order to make more money now you have to take note of this that coins that are unlimited in supply and who have at least 1 billion supply above would always take a value of 0.1 dollar or 0.1 cent below sometimes they are 0.002 cents even though these cryptos might have immense trading volume so the next thing we will discuss here is what we call the circulating supply this is the amount of token that is available for the investors to trade this is the circulating supply of bitcoin meaning 93 percent of bitcoin is in circulation which is equivalent to 19 million seven hundred thousand btc whenever a crypto has done 93 percent of its value in circulation you should not get worried a good example of what will get you worried is lista for example lista here only has 23% of its total value in circulation. Even though 23% is in circulation, the worth of Lista is just 0.47 as of July 8, 2024. Meaning when the remaining 68% of Lista is being released to the market, it would dump this coin's price from 0.4 to at least 0.02. This is where leverage investing for short comes in. You get my point now that is what we look for coins that are still under circulation and we do the dumping in a long run for example this is how they plan to dump this crypto this is what we call vesting i'll come back to it and how important is vesting now going back to lista the total supply here means how much of this crypto that was created minus the one that has been burned the easiest way a token founder or coin founder tries to reduce the number of crypto in supply or in circulation is through what we call burning. When a project burns their crypto, they try to reduce the supply. For example, had it been the burning mechanism is in place here under Lista, maybe the total supply you would see here would be instead of 1 billion, you could see something like 990 million. But since there is no burning mechanism, that means the total supply here and the maximum supply would have the same value, meaning they are willing to dump all this thing on us in the market. Now, the most important values here are the circulating supply and the amount in circulation. The maximum supply, if it's 1 billion token, just know that for 1 billion token to get to $10 is more difficult compared to coins that are just below 250 million. Then the volume here indicates how much of this crypto has been traded in the past 24 hours. You could actually change this to decentralized and centralized exchange. Over here, this coin has seen a volume of at least 69 million traded over the past 24 hours. Here now, this coin, the lowest it went in the past 24 hours is 0.43 and the highest is 0.51. One of my most important metrics here is all-time high and all-time low. All-time high is the highest, which happened 17 days ago when this crypto went to 0.84. And in less than 17 or 18 days, this crypto has done an all-time low investors pay attention to the circulating supply and when it will be dumped another good metric you have to pay attention is has this coin been listed on binance kucoin bybit coinbase max gate io these are the top 10 exchanges in the whole world especially binance if a crypto has not been listed on kucoin binance and bybit 
it's always good to invest on them so that when they ever get listed there they open up to a huge demand because binance has its own community going back to the circulating supply now we only have 23 percent in circulation when would the founders of this project dump the remaining coins into the market these could be seen on the vesting section of the crypto usually you don't see the vesting section under the coin market cap i used to website for that the very first one is what we call the token unlock and crypto ranking token unlock will just give you a summary of everything that is happening here and the emission rate when we talk about emission it means how much of this crypto that is being released to the market or taken away from the market in order to create a long sustainability if more of this crypto is being released to the market the higher the problem you would have this is lista under the token unlock but this is the same list uh, under the crypto rank if you look at this allocation here it means how much percentage of this crypto is being allocated to the different peoples during the token generation events for example here the community owns 40 percent of lister whereas investors own 19 percent the airdrop which we normally participate it's covered with just 10 percent of the whole token then we have the binance mega drop in the ecosystem and then the dow treasury to explain this further usually for me the ideal token allocation should be 15 percent or less should be allocated to the team the team are usually the founders of the project and then some of the key players in the project and then the advisor let me give you an example so let's say I created a token now and I want people like Elon Musk to be my advisor or to help promote the project or give an advice on that or even CZ of Binance. Of course, I have to give them some token in order for them to believe that, yes, I really want them in this project. So I would like to see 10% or less, sometimes even 5% or less, the total number of the tokens today, advisors. Then we have the early investors like Seed these early investors could be seen in form of seeds vc private sales co strategic institutional rounds i would like to see 25 percent or less on these then for the public sale i would like to see 10 percent or less then for the marketing i would like to see 10 percent or less of course crypto projects needs to pay influencers to push out the crypto to their followings now for the ecosystem this could be staking this could be airdrops this could be rewards i will want to see 10 percent or less in terms of ecosystem the reason here is airdrops are easily being sold away on the first day the marketing might take time for you to use it up and then we have the treasury this is the working capital this could be money to pay employee secure partnership and then do the day-to-day -day expenses i would like to see 15 percent of this crypto allocated to this and then liquidity for example the liquidity that are given to dex and sex liquidity on binance bybit kucoin meaning how much of this crypto that will be seen in the market on the launch or whenever it's been traded in the public space this i would like to see 20 percent unlocked up for at least two years three years or four years then we have the airdrops usually i don't mind from five to twenty percent because airdrops are the reasons why tokens are being known let me give you a good example of airdrop a not coin airdrop hamster combat the pixel has most people got into this project because they heard that if you do this if you play this game you earn some token when it gets listed you can sell it these people ideally if they get to like the project and the team behind the project they will not even sell but most of the times most people that get an airdrop sells immediately those five to twenty percent should not be something to worry about because they happen during the early stage of the crypto which is when the market would find its balance just like i said earlier vesting is the amount of a crypto that will be released into the public space now we already known the community here has 40 percent of this crypto now going back to this 
based on what we just said now, the airdrop here has no problem. The mega drop here has no problem. The ecosystem, the treasury, a little bit issue and it's locked. But where I have an issue with Lista is in the community. What exactly is the community? It's unlocked and it's locked. And this community is untraced. This is where I have issue with it. And it's 40% of this token, meaning they could decide to do whatever they want to do with this lister. 40% of this token is on untraced. Do you know what is it is for a 40% of a token not to be traced? I'll give you a good example of other tokens. For example, this is Celestia Tia. Tia token here has all its distribution with the highest distribution going to ecosystem and then followed by series A and B. You could see how most of these tokens here, even with the 26% of ROD and ecosystem, 6% is unlocked already and 18% is still locked. All these stuffs are traceable. Now, using tier, we have what we call the creep and then we have what we call the linear. Cliff means a period when no token will be released. For example, for the ROD and ecosystem, it has a one year cliff, meaning from the time as October 2023 to October 2024, none of these will be released into the supply. Sometimes you see something like nine months, one year, two years cliff. It means this is the cliff period. Then we have what we call the linear. Linear here means the number of these tokens that will be released every month once they start releasing it. For example, when you should get worried is during the end of a creep, which will start a linear dumping. For example, during that end, on tier token, we would see a 33% dump from series A and B and 0.07. If I change this graph here from timeline to chart, you would see, look at the amount of this token that will be dumped on into the market. This is quite a lot. So this is when you should get worried. Then you could see the next dumping date here, which is October 31, November 1, November 2, November 3, November 4, November 5. It means almost every day, at least 025 percent of this token will be dumped into the market linearly every day but the day they will see a high the highest amount being dumped into the market is october 31 if i didn't take a shot on this crypto before october even as early as august or september i would start taking a shot for this crypto because that is when i expect it to be dumped heavily into the market we are done talking about the supply side of a crypto. Now we'll be looking at the demand side. What creates a demand in crypto? You know, crypto price rising and dumping is just about supply and demand. The number of this crypto in the market and the number of people who are willing to buy it and when they are willing to buy it and how much are they willing to hold it? This is what creates a demand. If you are willing to buy but willing to dump immediately, it doesn't create much demand it just create a temporary or day-to-day -day demand but if people are willing to buy and make this a store of value and hold it for a long period of time that is the kind of demand we are looking for the very first thing is the community for example projects with great airdrops creates awareness great big community and the way they capture their community determines how much of their community are willing to hold this project even after airdrops or are willing to convince their family people who miss the airdrop to buy more of this token and hold it that it has a great prospect now the next thing that creates a demand is what we call incentives for holding or staking a good example of this is celesta tier then tier was rewarding people for staking or holding their crypto even though it had a one year creep period, meaning it had a stable supply for one year before it starts dumping. And then it's a token seen as store of value or just another meme coin. For example, we all know that Bitcoin is store of value. That means not everybody is willing to sell their Bitcoin. Next is the utility. How much of this crypto is being used? For a good example is Uniswap, even though people are meant to pay for their gas fee using uniswap but 
out of all the billions that are being traded in Uniswap, only little percent of Uniswap token, very little, is being used as the token fee. These are not the kind of utility, utility we look at. We look at, for example, Torn. Torn now, it's worth almost $7 because every day most projects are listing on under the Torn ecosystem, especially for Telegram apps or the apps. So these are the stuff that create demand. The easiest way to find the community of a crypto is to follow them on their social media and then check the number of people who are holding or the on-chain analysis using the Etherscan for Ethereum networks and then BSC scan for Binance chain networks. For me, good token has to be low on inflation or even deflation. For example, Bitcoin is being released into the market on mining basis. But this will take at least 100 years for the last Bitcoin to be mined and it must have a limited maximum supply. With the fact that Bitcoin has a maximum supply is what makes this beautiful. If Bitcoin had no maximum supply, that would have been the problem. It means Bitcoin would have not been where he is today because he has a maximum supply with a low inflation or even deflation. It means on the long run, the price will be more sustainable. Then, then token that encourages users to hold or lock up their token for reward. And the reward should be if you lock one tier, you get another tier. Not if you lock one tier, you get USDT, meaning they are selling tier to buy USDT. And great utility, very important. Most of these crypto meme coins, for example, will go to zero or even will lose 99% or 90% of their value from all time high. Every time it would always happen because they have no value. Why would I be stalling meme coins like Dogecoin? What will I do with it? What value? What? Why should I come back to them? This is a question you will be asked. For example, Binance, if I come back to Binance anytime, I would use the BNB to pay for fee. Turn the network projects are listed there. If I go to, if I want to move out my airdrops from the turn network, I have to pay using my turn network, even though turn network doesn't have a maximum supply. That is my problem with them. Now, strong community means how much of this community is active. How much are you hearing about this crypto? Even though Dogecoin has done its all time high three years ago, you keep on hearing people talking about Doge. That is why Doge is among the first 10 cryptos people call when they talk about crypto. Even though it has an unlimited supply, but because of the strong community, because of the way people are promoting and thinking that any time from now, Eromos would buy in into the project. So strong community is very, very important. So when you click on the resources section of this page or join our community section, you will see all these documents there. Just click on them, make a copy. If you come to the file section, because I won't give you access. If you come to the file section, click on make a copy to access them. So now, based on the tokenomics, you will see that some of this coin would actually perform better than the other. For example, I would always tell you that people like Dog with Hearts, though he has unlimited supply, would always perform better than Bonk. If you could even see this from their price allocation here, now, this is how to collect token based on their tokenomics. The very first one I'll be showing you here is what we call the meme tokens. The very first stuff you see is the token name, the maximum supply, the circulating supply in percentage. If it doesn't have a maximum supply, let's say it's unlimited supply, that, that is when you will see me enter values like this. Emission, is it deflationary or inflationary? Inflationary are what I should be more scared of. When is the next cliff date? Meaning, is it a one year cliff or when would it be unlocked? The unlocking, is it done already or is it still going to be through mining or linear? Then the rank, the current price, the all time low, all time low date, the all time high, the all time high date, the all time low after all time high for coins that have done two cycles at least. What is the percentage increase from all time high? What is the percentage increase from all time low? For example, from all time low, Dogecoin has done 5,761% increase, but has lost 81% of all that during the all time low. 
you will see that most of these crypto they do a lot from all time low they have done a lot of increase then they have ones that have not even done anything but they have done more losses for example 1000 sats even though it has a maximum supply but this maximum supply is a lot see the value here the maximum supply of these is i think how many trillion i don't i can't remember let's go back and check for it come here search for 100 percent search for 1000 sats 143 wow look at these two trillion even though 100 percent of it has been released into the circulation but it has a two trillion maximum supply of token that is why this token called 1000 sats satoshi would never perform as for example pepe or even dodge because the number of crypto in circulation is far far more look i think it's the same thing that is happening to meme meme only did 37 percent increase from all time low and has done negative 63 percent so this is how we use tokenomics to identify crypto once you see crypto that are meme that are above at least five billion just give up on them statistically they never never perform very well compared to other cryptos now tokens with unlocking timeline is one of my favorites all of these almost all of them are inflationary when is the next unlocking next cliff date meaning when would the cliff end may 14 first of may 2025 20 most of these the next then linear after means after the cliff it becomes linear currently these ones with linear means we're already doing their linears then the ones with done for example not coin is done with each stop and the hundred percent of not coin is already in, in circulation though this percentage here doesn't say amount okay the maximum supply i added the maximum supply for this one the maximum supply for not coin is 100 billion that is why one not coin even though it's done with all these is 0.0192 compared to ioio.net that only has 800 million and has only 11 percent in circulation these ones with 11 percent in circulation are the ones i really really enjoy shorting now one of my most important metrics is i look at coins that have done at least 1000 percent increase these ones these ones these ones they are the ones i really enjoy taking shot on so these are the nodes the different website i use for my analysis and what they are coin market cap because you could share best for price reference best for vesting best for supply chain best for crypto calculation this is for example the trading digit here is good for calculations so that is it for tokenomics next we'll be discussing mastering how crypto vesting affects a crypto